The hormones traditionally were commercial prepared by pharma and delivered, and they were in set dosing, and it was progesterone and or synthetic progesterone, depending on the case. And many, many studies bore out of that. There was an author way back when in the 80s and 90s, PhD guy who did a lot of the effects of estrogen on the brain, the skin, the bone, the jaw, et cetera. His name is Eric. And they're old studies, but they're still very relevant. And part of the interesting thing is there's now some newer studies looking at the effects of hormones on brain, bone, jaw, skin, etc. And they corroborate everything that Erickson did way back in the 80s and 90s. And it shows that the communications, the neurons within the brain branch like a very well healthy tree in women who are on estrogen. And they kind of tend to wither and become less branched in women who do not do estrogen. And a recent study just within the last week was on estrogen therapy and the reduction of dementia and cognitive decline. And it also talked about, which is very important for our audience, is the menopausal symptoms. So if you're going through menopausal symptoms and you're not getting treated for that, that is going to affect you long-term cognitively based on the studies that have recently come out as well as the studies that go back to Erickson. So it is important that for those who are out there listening, who are having menopausal symptoms, it's important that you realize that what you choose to do or not do today will affect you cognitively, heart-wise, skin-wise, bone-wise down the road. So it doesn't matter what you spend at your dermatologist, different injections, different fillers, different products that you are doing. If you're not being balanced with your hormones, none of that really matters. You got to work from the inside out. That's exactly right.